Okay, so in this topology, we've been told that we need to configure redistribution between EIJRP and OSPF, and we need to ensure that there are no loops in the topology. Here's router one. Once again, there are no routing protocols enabled on the router. IP addresses have been configured on these devices. Show IP interface brief shows us that. So IP addresses have been configured on these devices, but you need to enable the routing protocols, redistribution, and ensure that there are no loops. Now on router one, I'm simply gonna enable EIGRP on all interfaces on the router. All interfaces on this router are in Autonomous System 100, as shown here. I'm going to disable automatic summarization per best practices, so show IP EIGRP interfaces. We can see that EIGRP is enabled on gigabit 00, gigabit 01, and the loopback interface of the router. Show IP EIGRP topology shows us those three routes in the topology database. So that looks good. I'll do something similar on router three. On router three, all interfaces need to be configured in OSPF process one and area zero. So router, OSPF one, network, and I'll simply do it this way once again to keep it simple. So show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on the loopback, gigabit 01 and gigabit 00. The configuration of both router one and router three is easy. Now let's configure router two, which is a bit more complicated. So on router two, show IP interface brief. These interfaces have been configured with IP addresses per the topology diagram. So let's enable EIGRP in Autonomous System 100. I'm only gonna enable EIGRP on the gigabit 00 interface, and I'm gonna disable automatic summarization. So show IP EIGRP interfaces, EIGRP is now enabled on gigabit 00. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. We can see that we have a neighbor relationship established to 10.1.1.1. Show IP route shows us that we've learnt about the loopback of router one through EIGRP and we can ping the loopback interface. Now the lab wasn't clear about whether the loopback interface should be part of EIGRP or OSPF. I'm simply gonna configure that as part of OSPF. In the exam, follow the directions carefully. But here I'm simply gonna take the loopback interface and make it part of OSPF and configure the gigabit 01 interface as part of OSPF. So show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is now running on the loopback interface and gigabit 01, we can see that a neighbor relationship has been established to router with neighbor ID 3.3.3.3. So show IP OSPF neighbor. We've got a neighbor relationship fully established to router three. Show IP route now shows us that we've learnt this route through OSPF. So ping quadruple three, that works. And once again, ping quadruple one, that also works because we've learnt about this network via EIGRP and we've learnt about this network via OSPF. So that's basic OSPF and EIGRP configuration. At the moment, OSPF doesn't know about the EIGRP routes. It only sees the internal OSPF routes. It doesn't see external routes. Show IP EIGRP topology. EIGRP also only knows about the EIGRP routes. It doesn't know about the OSPF networks. Let's configure router four with a basic EIGRP and OSPF configuration, and then I'll configure redistribution. So here's router four. Conf T, router EIGRP 100. 
Network 10.132. Gigabit 00 interface. No order summary. Show IP. ERGRP interfaces. ERGRP is enabled on Gigabit 00. Show IP. ERGRP neighbors. We've got a neighbor relationship to router 1. Show IP route. We have learnt about this network through EIGRP as well as this network. So router 4 should be able to ping router 2. So ping 10.1.1.2. Notice the ping succeeds and if I trace to that network, I'm going via router 1. So let's configure OSPF. Router OSPF 1 network. And I'll enable OSPF on the loopback first in area 0. And then the gigabit 01 interface. So show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on both of those interfaces. Show IP OSPF neighbor. We've got a full neighbor relationship to router 3. Show IP route. We have learnt about various routes through OSPF, including this network. So router 4 should be able to ping router 2 on gigabit 01, which it can. And once again, if I trace to that IP address, the traffic is going via router 3. So that's basic OSPF and EIGRP configuration. The routing protocols don't know about the routes in the other routing process. So as an example, OSPF only knows about the three routers that are configured for OSPF. It doesn't know about external routes. So it doesn't know about this network as an example, this network, or this network. Same is true for EIGRP. If we look at the topology database, it only knows about these three networks. It doesn't know about the OSPF networks. So now we need to redistribute OSPF into EIGRP and EIGRP into OSPF. We need to do that on both router 2 and router 4.